What's going on guys? My name is Ted and today I'm bringing you some Call of Duty 5 action on Subpens. This is my favorite map in Call of Duty 5 of all time. Um, such a lateral map. <clears throat> it was amazing. But I, I recently went back to Call of Duty 5 just for a few games and although the majority of them were hacked and people were running around with, you know, god mode and instant, infinite health glitches, um, if you found a lobby that wasn't hacked, it was so much fun. Um, this game is so simplistic and wonderful. Um, Right now, my friend Tyler's playing on uh, MW3, so I'm kind of like comparing the two games, and I've already watched this gameplay back a couple minutes ago to just, like, just make sure it was a really good game. And, <clears throat> you know, there's pros and cons of both game, of both games, but, man, if if Call of Duty 5 got released again with better graphics and uh, maybe a patched MP40, this game would be so wonderful. Just leave leave the killstreaks as they are. Um, this game was so simplistic and so gun versus gun. Um, there was so few campers. I mean, there's no, there's no point in camping in this game. I don't think in this entire gameplay you're gonna find one guy hiding in a corner. Um, you hop into MW2, you're gonna find like three guys hiding in corners trying to get their Osprey Chopper gun or something that they're never gonna get. Or they'll, you know, have on Assassin Pro and just be hiding away from all your UAVs. Um, this game was so simplistic. Everyone used stopping power, um, so there was no like ghost perk pretty much. Um, everything was gun versus gun, unless it, unless you had a couple of kill streaks in your pocket. Um, probably the only annoyance factor was Martyr Gnome right there, but even that, if, if you have a headset, you can hear the grenades fall on the ground. Um, and right here, I'm going to start a new series called Join Late Dominate. Because I joined this game, and I, the game was already halfway over. Um, the guy was already up like 60, 70 points when I joined, and <clears throat> I ended up winning by one kill near the very end. It, got, it was really like a photo finish for who's, who's going to win the game. And the other thing I really love about this game is the sounds. The sounds are awesome. Headshots in this game sound priceless. Um, probably my favorite sound of all time is a headshot with a Springfield sniper rifle. That thing was like kapink. It was so perfect. It was it, 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 even for the MP40. I, I'll um, when I when I before I post this video, I'll go back and I'll, I'll edit the audio so that you can hear the headshots with the MP40. MP40 sounds amazing. Um, the voice acting when it's like I was trying to show you something. Um, even the voice acting when it's like when you call on the dog, it's like, bring in the dogs. It's like dogs acquired. It sounds so awesome. Like the, the sounds like get you going. That and just the the World War Two era maps. Um, these these aren't Black Ops maps. Black Ops maps are like so depressing. These are like really cool, really lateral maps. There's there's no really undergrounds or like three or four story buildings like there are in Black Ops. Like in Black Ops, all they wanted to do was like build upwards. They didn't expand. They just built upwards. And that's so bad because I hate like having to look 36 directions and have people hiding in corners on the third story of some building that no one goes into. It's just, uh, the game was frustrating. This game was so, so good. Um, the only thing frustrating now is the is the modders and hackers. I just wish, I just wish they would take care of their games. Um, you know, everyone says they, they go back to the roots of Call of Duty 4. And although Call of Duty 4 is a great game, like I definitely give props to that game. Um, for being one of the best Call of Duty's, but in my opinion, and I'm biased because this is the first game, the game I ever owned on console, but in my opinion, Call of Duty 5 is worth it. I mean, this game was so so simplistic, so wonderful. The maps were amazing. Of, of maps, easily Call of Duty 5 was the best. I mean, I think everyone can admit that, and if you can't, then you're wrong, so. <laughs> but, but the maps are so good. I mean, I, I've, I've played Call of Duty 4 a lot. I've played... 40 days of Modern Warfare 2, I've played 15 days of Black Ops, and I've played almost 5 days of MW3. I'm not saying an unbiased opinion here, I know maps of every single game, and I've gotten every DLC ever to be arrived on console for any Call of Duty, all the way back to Call of Duty 2 and 3. And I can easily say that Call of Duty 5 had the best maps. I, I, when I was playing this with my friends back in when um, Black Ops was still the new game, um, I got I get tired of Black Ops really fast. And when I went to, to back to Call of Duty 5 with a couple of my friends, every map that came up, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this map, I want to play this map. When I got back on Black Ops, I'm like, oh my god, vote to skip, I don't want this shit, vote then, can I, and then it'd, it'd give you like three options, I'm like, I don't want any of those options, like, give me a different, like, the only map I liked was Nuketown, Nuketown and Firing Range. Every other map was like bland, and I, I literally did not like a single other map other than Nuketown and Firing Range, that was it for me. Um, and then you go back to my MW2, MW2 had a lot of good maps, like Favela, um, like uh, Rust was a good map, and Underpass, I, I really like Underpass. But then you had, oh, great game winning kill cam. Idiots pointing out of Betty, I knife him. Anyways, more on this conversation later. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.